Hallelujah. Amen. Dear listeners and viewers, we welcome you once again in order to service with the Lord. Last week, we were able to look at the value of a soul. Today, we are moving on to another aspect that is calling on every Christian to be on alert. Shall we pray? Heavenly Father, we thank you and we bless you. We appreciate you for grace in order to expand your kingdom business. In Jesus' name, Amen. We want to look at the theme for the day, Christian's Mission. Christian's Mission. What is a mission? Mission originates from the Latin word mission name, which simply means the act of sending or sent. According to John chapter 20, verse 21, Jesus said, Peace be unto you, just as the Father sent me, so sent I you. This particular verse clarified to us that every living creature on this earth is being sent in order to fulfill a specific task. Achieving a goal, it's first of all mandated by having a mission. Let's look at these clear cuts of example. You were sent to go to Accra without having any purpose for going to Accra. It means that you joining a car from wherever you are going to Accra is in vain because there must be a lay down mission that you must be able to achieve in the course of the day. Christians and believers all over the world, Jesus is calling on us all and he is sending us to the lost. He said in the book of Luke chapter 19 verse 10, For the Son of Man come to seek and to save that which was lost. This is giving us the assurance that every Christian, every believer, every soul on earth is he or she is having an assignment which he must be able to fulfill. What are we doing? Christians, servants of God, there is a need for us all to arise in order to set the standard. We must all have the mind of saintness. Because Jesus is our Father. Jesus is our mediator who is assigning us the task of reaching out to the lost. No matter how circumstances, we are all entitled to stand to our feet 
in order to reach out to those that are lost in the wilderness. Bible says in Matthew chapter 28 verse 18, the scripture says that Jesus drew near to the disciples. Then he said unto them, Look, all powers in heaven and on earth are given to me. Therefore, go into the world and make all the nations of a disciple. Go is a command voice of having a special assignment that needs to be fulfilled. Christians, believers, without wasting much time, the souls that are perishing there, Jesus is sending us all in order to go and proclaim the gospel of peace to them all. Why are you afraid? Why are you scared? Nevertheless, be ashamed of the good news of the kingdom of our Father Jesus. There is a need for all Christians and all believers to come to their sense in order to reach out to the lost souls. The Christians missing. If we are walking without the, 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 the symbol, the picture of saintness, it means that our race is just in vain. Just like someone who is assigned by his or her father in order to perform a specific work or task, you have the zeal in order to do it to the standard that will be accepted by your father. Therefore, there is a need for all of us to wake up in order to do the work with a zeal, with a mindset of saintness. Hallelujah. It has come to realization that the entire world is now at risk because Christians are afraid in order to speak the true religion, the true deity of Jesus Christ. Forgetting that that is the basic reason they are called to the true light of Jesus. According to Mark, chapter 16 verse 15 the bible says that go ye thenceforth and make disciples this command is told there sounding clearly to every christian wherever you are as a christian as a missionary there is a need for us all to stand to our feet in order to expand the business of our Father, Jesus. Hallelujah. Crowning this today, we must all have the focus as Christians being sent to perform a special task. Shall we stand to our feet whilst we pray? Heavenly Father and our Maker, we thank you and we bless you. We are praying that, oh God, take off every veil that is covering the eye of the unbelievers, the lost souls in the wilderness. And we pray that you let your righteous light shine for all. In the name of Jesus, we thank you, Father. And we bless you, Jesus. Amen.
Jesus. Jesus.